Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Now we're sitting here in the T7 315 that we got from Carl F. Stott's Implements in Wanakee. And um, I've been fiddling around with the IntelliView monitors and I discovered that the GPS is in this is a little more nimble than I had thought. And you can make pretty sharp turns with it. Um, I think the minimum turning radius is like 15 feet. So what I found out last night was that you can drive over the same swath multiple times. So you can use this to, let's say, like right now, I'm holding with grain card. I could set a swath from here all the way back to where I unload, where I unload Travis. Now, the reason that's handy is because I don't have to keep driving through the gateways and everything like, granted it is a wasp signal, so it's not sub-inch accuracy, but it is still pretty darn accurate. So I can be using the auto steer to kind of take some of the weight weight load off of driving back and forth the same path all the time. Uh, I can hit that auto steer button if I choose and then just kind of be like sit back and enjoy the scenery for a little bit, I guess. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the swath and I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up so that all I have to do is press a button and I can uh, sit back and enjoy the scenery. <laughs> so here we're looking at the IntelliView monitor for the GPS. I'm going to set up a new curve and we're going to call it curve five so i'm going to start this right now and you can see that i've been making paths through here all day long but from this point it's going to record every move i make and then it will use that the next time i come around and want to use the auto steer so i'm going to go ahead and go back to where i'm going to load the cart and and stop where travis will be and um, then I'll show you guys how it works. So it's accurate enough that I can drive through these gates with ease. Now I wanna drive right down the center because it's a lost signal, so it's not, like I said, it's not sub-inch accuracy and there might be up to a foot worth of leeway. We're at the end of the swath now, so I'm gonna head back and hit stop. Yes, I wanna change to the swath. Now on the way back, it should take me through the gates without me having to steer at all. All I have to do now is press the steering wheel button. Auto engaged, and it's driving itself. Now let's see how accurate we are. Pretty good, I'd say. It's back to where we started. I'm definitely looking forward to using the GPS a little bit more when we're doing other stuff just to play around with it. But I think it's really cool that you can go back and forth on the same swath so that way you can just automate even just driving. So it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching this video guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. So we'll see you next time.